In the previous video, we learned about the register method in React Hook form for tracking our form state. But we did not verify that. In this video, we'll verify if the library is indeed managing our form state. The verification will be slightly different. Instead of verifying by writing code, we will visualize the form state using the React Hook form dev tools. To install the dev tools, in the terminal, within the same project folder, run the command npm install dash d at hook form slash dev tools. Once the installation completes, within YouTube form dot tsx, import the dev tool component. We then invoke the component after the closing form tag. Make sure T is uppercase. Finally, we need to associate this component with the form we are tracking. For that, use form hook returns a control object that we can destructure from form. On the DevTools component, we specify a control prop and assign the control object as value. We are basically tying together our YouTube form with the DevTools. If we now head back to the browser, we should see a small icon on the top right corner of the screen. Click to open, and we should see username, email, and channel, which should seem familiar. They are the three fields in our form. If you expand all, you will see two properties for each field, touched and dirty. Touched indicates whether the field has been interacted with. Dirty indicates whether the field value has changed. Now we will revisit these two properties later in the series. So let's focus our attention on tracking the value of the three fields. When I start typing, you can see the value updates in real time. Username, email, and channel. The three values are being tracked by React Hook form. Of course, touched and dirty are also updated, but it is very clear that React Hook form is managing our form state. As you can see, with just a few lines of code, we are able to track the form field values, track whether the user has interacted with the fields, and track whether their values have changed. This is what React Hook form brings to the table. Now, there is one other important point to talk about when dealing with form state. Let's see what that is in the next video.